Hello everybody, it's me Fadi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'll talk about the most popular marine fish, the clownfish. After the movie Finding Nemo, the home aquarium demand for clownfish increased significantly. And many people started to keep marine aquariums. Clownfish, also known as anemone fish, because in the wild they form a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. Of over 1,000 species of anemone that lives in the oceans, only 10 species coexist with 26 species of clownfish. Within these species, only select pair of clownfish and anemones are compatible with each other. In return for a safe and protective home, the clownfish benefits the anemone in several important ways. These include cleaning the tentacles of the anemone, drawing in prey, and keeping predatory fish away. A layer of mucus protects the clownfish from being stung by the anemone's tentacles. With good care, clownfish can live for several years from 6 to 10 years. There are 30 known species of clownfish. Depending on species, clownfish have yellow, orange, or reddish, or blackish color, and many show white bars or patches. Most of the different species of clownfish lives in the shallow water of the Indian Ocean, Red Sea, and the Western Pacific. They are not found in the Caribbean, Mediterranean, or Atlantic Ocean. Clownfish are ideal beginner fish since they are easy to care for, hardy, and don't require a huge aquarium to live happily. While the clownfish always stay in and near anemones, so they require very little space. The minimum recommended tank size for one clownfish is 20 gallons. For any additional clownfish, you'll need to add 10 gallons more. And they eat all kinds of food, fresh, frozen, or dried. Many varieties of clownfish are now being successfully bred in aquariums and farm raised by hatcheries like Oceans, Reefs and Aquariums, ORA and Bally Aquarich, and many other commercial and hobbyist breeders across the world. Captive bred species generally are easier to acclimate, feed, and raise in home aquariums. In addition, keeping captive bred specimens is helpful in preserving the reef environment. Designer clownfish are captive bred clownfish that shows unusual patterns, colors, and shapes that can't be found in wild caught clownfish. Designer clownfish are produced by selective breeding and crossing different clownfish together. There is an endless variety of designer clowns like Snowflake, Picasso, Lightning Maroon, and many much more. Depending on the clownfish species, you can keep multiple clowns in the same tank, like the Ocellaris, given that you have enough space and introduce them when they are young at the same time. Other species of clownfish can be very aggressive, like the Maroon clownfish, that you can keep only one in the aquarium or you can keep them as a mated bear. All clownfish are born male. They have the ability to turn themselves into female, but once the change is made, they can't go back to being a male. Usually in a group of clownfish, the most dominant and the largest fish will turn into a female. So to get a clownfish pair, just get any two small juvenile clowns from the same species, keep them together after a year or so, there is a high possibility that you will get a mated pair. Also, it is okay to mix different colors together, or even two different compatible species. Many captive bred clownfish are easy to breed in home aquarium. The female will be the largest of the pair, and the two fish will usually stay close to each other in the aquarium. The female will lay the eggs on a flat surface and defend the eggs from other tank mates. The eggs will normally hatch in 6 to 11 days, depending on the water temperature. The phrase should be reared in a separate tank and feed them with rotifers. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video.